All right, hello everybody. I want to explain something. I know I did a video years ago. I know where I did the makeup of the first and then went into this process, but I just want to do this one now. I've got a friend that is kind of wanting to do the same thing. He wants to do an air compressor, um, but with a foot pedal, which I know they have those in the decorating world. I've never really played with one, but this system that I have, I think it's going to be probably much easier. It's definitely going to be much easier to build. It'll be cheaper to build, and it works great for me, and I've been using it for years. So what I have here is I've gone through about five different air compressors. This one here, the little Sinco, I find to be one of the lightest air compressors. Um, not too loud, pretty much, pretty quiet in general, and just works out well. So I've tried the battery-operated pumps. They just go too slow for me. I just can't take battery-operated pumps. Um, I would rather have a hand pump or a floor pump and do it manually than to try to, to wait for uh, the batteries to blow them up. With a tank, this is the key. The tank is the key. So you need your pressure. Your pressure is already built up. And what I did is it's just a regular old air compressor. And I, I designed a tower. And I put it on the tower. And I've been using this for years. And I love it. So I'm just going to explain what I do here. So basically it's just an air compressor. It's got a 50 foot hose. And that goes into a tower that I built. The tower is basically a helium tank nozzle. It's the rubber nozzle. These are probably about five, six bucks. And they flex over for letting the air out. What I did is I basically I just bought an adapter so I can attach this to another threaded uh, thing for air compressor hoses. And it just plugs right into it. So if you know anything about air compressors, it's pressured air and it's not that big of a deal. You basically just have to, have to make sure the threads fit. And what I did is I took this. This is on basically a Pump 1 Team Air Base. I just ordered a piece of plastic. Of course, you can get a piece of plastic from anywhere. I didn't really know where to get them at the time. This is a toilet flange from a hardware store. And this is basically just PVC tubing. Um, it goes straight up to the top here. And what I do is I have that. Um, as far as blowing up balloons, I can do every balloon with this. I can do 160s. I can control the amount of air. I've got total control over my balloons with this pump. I'm going to start out with a 160. The 160, you don't have to actually put it all the way over. You just set it right on the very top. And with just pushing this over, I can control, I can make it go slow, I can make it go fast. So that works out wonderful. Like with a 260, if I wanted to do, I do a little tulip face where I only want to put a tiny little bit of air in there, I have that control. And I can make that into a tulip. Or if I want, go all the way. Another thing I've noticed is if um, you kind of want to judge how much air you want to put in, just hold your finger there. Load up your finger and stop. So that's another way of controlling. 350s, works great for 350s. Blown up all the way and pretty tight. Um, another thing you do is you can take two balloons in each hand, blow up one, blow up the other one, tie the knots together. That's easy to see how I did that. And even 11 inch rounds, anything. And you've got complete control. So that works out well. So this is a great system. So I don't really sell these. I made it myself. I use it all the time. And I mean, I can add, I can provide a little bit more detail as far as, you know, closer up pictures and that kind of stuff. But um, it's a great system. So can't, can't uh, push it more. So, all right, guys, take care. Good luck. Keep on twisting. Talk to you later.